on our planet, Britain has invaded or gone to war with every single one of them, ah, no, that's except, not true. except that's 22. Not true. There are only Get 22 right nations on Donald the Trump earth that Britain has not made war at some point in their you, history. Can you enumerate those nations? So Show you need to think. You need to think. Obviously not. Explain what you were a person please, like please, that. You're talking English again. I want to give you an analogy. I want you to imagine that you have a friend who you drive with on a regular basis in their car, and whenever you are. Now keep going, man. You're not disturbing me. He's disturbing me whenever from listening you are, to you. Whenever you are in your car with your friend, and your friend is the driver, it's their car. Everywhere you go with your friend, your friend is always beeping his or her horn against other car drivers. You haven't got a car. When they're driving along the road, your friend is always giving the finger to other drivers and people on the pavement and people trying to cross the road. Your friend is angry all the time with other people as you go about the journey with your friend. Every single day, every single day you have the same experience with your friend. Your friend can point out all of the transgressors, the other transgressors on the road. Your friends can show you how stupid Everybody else is ah, on the road, go. and Everybody all of the stupid now, things we go. that here they we keep go. doing. We'll that stupid now. bus driver, that stupid bicycle rider, <laughs> that stupid cat that just ran across the road <laughs> in front of my car. He didn't your call friend, me an idiot. Don't be your friend is pointing out all of this stupidity that is going on around him and you ah, every day we go. when no, you're no, in no, the car. He never said a word about me. My question to you is when are you going to get is. wise to your friend? And when are you going to realize that the problem isn't the cat, it isn't the stupid bicycle rider, it isn't the stupid bus driver, it isn't the stupid pedestrian trying to cross at the traffic lights, but that the problem is actually your friend. How long will it take you to realize that, you're, that the problem that you witness every day is a problem with your friend who is driving you in that car? Because of the preponderance of problems that this person has with everybody and everything. Well, I'm asking you the same question when it comes to this number of the British going to war with all but 22 of the nations on the earth. What does that tell you about the British? Some of you in your arrogance and your ignorance, you say, well, we're, we're superior, we're better. Really? No, what it says is that the British are warmongers. What it says is that the British are aggressors. What it says is that the British have a strain of evil running and coursing through their veins, which is why 
they are constantly attacking other nations and other people on a global scale. This is your history. It's written in the blood of mostly indigenous people, black people, brown people, yellow people. This is why if you study Chinese history, you will see that it was the British who waged what they call the Opium Wars and destroyed the Chinese people. If you study British history, yeah, yeah, like some some idiot just said, oh, the Chinese did it to themselves. Yeah, the Cultural Revolution, yeah. twenty million. Just like black that? people, we we enslaved How ourselves. How is that? How is that? Like the, the Iraqis got up one day and decided to just kill themselves. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Just keep saying it's all white. And so the British. They have this history written in the blood of the members of the human family when they went to Are you Australasia Are you and they destroyed Are you and they destroyed Are you British? the Aboriginal people of that region. They went to one of the islands called Tasmania and when they got to Tasmania, according to the records, they were about 10 million Tasmanians and we, within a short space of time all of the Tasmanian people were dead. Today they are more or less an extinct people because of the British genocide on those people. The British went into what they call the Indian subcontinent and they destroyed the people through their colonization of the people in that region and we can go on and on and on about the bloody record of the British and many of you today you have the, the, the British ruling classes they mock the ordinary ranking British people because Every weekend, our man is handing his bed and put on him. I got pee on that car. Shut the shit. What? Shut the shit. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Why are they shit? The shit. Capitalize on that statement, young man. I'm a Rangers fan. Because you're a Rangers fan, Celtic are shit. Yeah. That doesn't make much sense. So you can't, you can't tell us any more than that, no? Just that they're shit. Rangers don't take the knee, Celtic does. Ah, look at that! Hey, I thought you were fucking dead! Look at him! I thought you were dead! I thought they sent you back to Pakistan! They're still feeding you! They're still feeding About you. Two million They're only giving British you a little bit because you haven't got on too much weight. Not God love in you. our name. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Tony the liar, Tony the Blair. He'd make a great jockey. Went ahead. Put him on a horse. And horse told the off. big lie that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. Not and so well today we Not see well. Iraq. A basket case, a shadow of its former self, destroyed and now partitioned into different factions and different people, which was the aim and objective of the British all along. They went into Syria. I'm the only man that goes to synagogue on a Sunday. Come on, come on, come on. Prime Minister Cameron, why are you worried about why I'm wearing the suit? Does it, does it not suit me? Oh, dear, thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. It is not my wife, but she might be very shortly if she sees these comments up. I think her son would have something to say about that. Are you enjoying your day now? Is your mum or your nan? Don't answer it. It's the grandma. He doesn't look old enough to be your grandmother. Here we go. Look at this behind you. Look, look at him coming. Look at him. I see. I always, I always to try to get rid of 
Computers will take over the world. You're not too sure of yourself, Sonny. You're not biting your nails. <laughs> Stop biting your... You've got to think how to talk to people. That's the wrong way to be. Open your mouth and just let it out. I'm definitely not trying to figure out what you're thinking after giving me that leaflet. I know exactly what you're thinking. How much money can I get out of that? <laughs> I know well, boy, I know well what you're thinking. I've tried most the things but that. I'm not, I'm not leaving them alone. Now, this is what the, 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 the tradition up here is to tell you. Them. As my son. Oh, and I'm not telling them in the wrong way. Right now, remember I told you, Michael the Archangel, okay? Remember what I told you? I, just, Michael, I was asked that I had Archangel, fucking sex Michael when I was 13. Who is my God? Never mind who asked me. You're jealous. Uh, you're jealous, messenger. you're jealous. Leader of the messenger. You're jealous because I didn't ask means. you. Okay. <laughs> I know you haven't had sex, I can tell by the beard. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, the beard. This is right. Genesis chapter 1 and verse, like I showed you. And the Spirit of God well, moved upon the water. I can when a fella has had the sex of because he's worried about, about what, what the other fella's going to say. Wait, wait, for man was created, okay? Now hear this, hey, hey. For those that say, God the Holy Spirit is not Calm God. Down. Look at what it says in Acts chapter 5 and verse 3 or 4. It says this. Calm but down. Have a said, cigarette for you. And a knife. Why has Satan <laughs> filled that heart <laughs> to lie to the Holy Ghost <laughs> and to keep back part of the first life? Now here's what, here. They were Paul said. They were Paul said. Paul said, they didn't say. He said, while it remained, was it not thine own? And all here on your soul, was it not thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. The Holy Ghost is just as much God as is Christ, as is God the Father. Why? So I want to take you back to the world. Slag this country off. So I'm, in, I'm in a better position to slag this country off than anyone, and I don't. In I, I don't even reason I don't hate because we got rid of them. We don't hate the English. You know, if we just want the English to leave us alone. The English army is over the hundreds, hundreds of years. The greatest generals in the world. The royal families, they're not even English. That is 
They're all Germans and Scots and Greeks. Who, who's the right thing? Here we go, here we go. Paddy, Paddy. I know Paddy, see? Paddy, my name is Joe. What's your first name? My name is Patrick from You're from where? You're no more from fucking Dublin than the man in the morning. Look at this here. Look at this up properly. Joe, who's great? Who's great? Who's The royal family are half Greek, half Scottish. Show it. Prince Philip was born in Greece. Doesn't mean he's Greek. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What does it mean? He's fucking African. What does it mean? He is? All right, I'm born in China. Does that mean I'm Chinese? Oh, you said you were born in Dublin. That makes sure you're born in Dublin. If I was born in China, it makes me Chinese. If Philip is not Greek. If I was born in China, it makes me a China man. Yes. Hong Chong Chewy. <laughs> Listen, you, you're out to black air people again. Hello, Philip gave up everything that was. He great. never gave up everything. He, for the queen. he never gave up everything. He his mother gave up everything, but not him. And his mother was not him. Either. His mother became a nun. Yeah, but she wasn't Greek either. She was sick of the fucking lot of. She became a nun. She wasn't even Greek either. She became a nun. Now, where are you going? Come back here and talk up for yourself. If you're an Irish man, you wouldn't walk away like that. What? Unity in heaven. So what we find Hello, in heaven, uh, we find unity in the spirit. How are you? How are you? What height are you? Unity is what keeps six, six. heaven at rest. Basketball player. You don't have to play a lot, do you? Put your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise. Come before the present Where's he gone? Hey, Dublin! Come back here and stand up for yourself! You are a Jew and you're denying it! You're calling yourself everything but what you are! You're calling yourself everything but what you are! I'm Irish and I'm proud of it! You're Jewish and you're not proud of it! Ah! You got your ear, boy! You see? Ah! You fucker, you! You've been found out! <laughs> You've been found out! I am the only Jew that goes to the synagogue on a Sunday, I don't deny it. I come from a form of Judaism. Everyone is an hypocrite, evildoer. I'm going to have a salt beef sandwich now for me dinner in a minute. And a big gherkin, a big gherkin, and then I'm going to have ten pints of Guinness. If there is wickedness, if there is pain, if there is suffering, there is no joy. Ten pints of Guinness. When was the last time you had a pint of Guinness? You'd want one because look at the colour of you. Look at the colour of you. You didn't have one to have an hour ago. That's another lie. You cannot tell the truth. I can tell it by you. You're a modern liar. When that war broke out in heaven, there was no more unity. When the unity was broken, that is what destroyed heaven. Not there simply being there, but there's a lack of unity there. So whenever there is war in our household, whenever we as a family have war and there's no unity, that is what destroys heaven. So what happens is, when there's, no war, when there's war and there's unity, that causes damage, okay? Why did Saudi Arabia in 1985 do the same thing? Just recently, a few months ago, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia said, get rid of that the Hadith. 90% of them is rubbish. Wow. 90%. <laughs> and that's the king of the And that's the king of the Boys, where did you get that flag right. behind you? It's illegal to fly flags here. <laughs> You're not an Englishman. You're not either. Neither of them. Aha! <laughs> it's only now you realize that, my friend. No, oh, I realize it's only now you got it. You drove in on your bike. I didn't you drove in on my bike. You want to go to the like I, I pushed the bike in. <laughs> I didn't ride in on your bike. I walked in. Yeah, you said I ridden. 
You see how hypocritical you are with your FBI hat? Hey, Mr. Bike Man, when you die, are you going to ride your bike to heaven? When I die, the rats will get and they'll get a good dinner because I might Oh, you won't. Stop being stop me simplistic and yeah. silly. Right? Dr. Banda, so wrap up your conversation with the gentleman because I think the gentleman already is. He's gone because he's running away from me. He's not running away. Would you wonder why he's running away? Dr. Banda, do a wrap up. Listen to you. Ah, go on, you FBI. Dr. Banda, do a wrap up on the conversation. Okay, we have demonstrated that there are different Arab commands. They're not just one. They are subtle but discernible differences from one Arabic command and the other. Okay? So don't buy the story there's only one Arab Quran. That's hogwash. What are you preaching? Okay? Jesus said, beware of false prophets. Like you. Yeah. Beware of the false world. teachers. Yeah. They come to yeah, you in other words. Yeah, but they're empty. Yeah. 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 Now, this gentleman just came to interrupt the audience. I don't, I don't, I don't. Listen, that's your opinion. What's the FBI, man? The way I'm getting from the city team, will you? But it is Sunday! You're in a civilized country. Jesus must praise the dead on Sunday. You go to where I went, you don't know the easy. Ah, go away and get a city team. You should be ashamed. Go away, you know what? No way you're going to steak for yourself, will you? You know that? You're only reason you won't eat steak is you can't eat. You can't eat the steak. My friend, there are many, there are many Irish people that love Jesus. You're not one of them. How do you know what I love? I love a pint of Guinness. I love a pint of Guinness and a nice bit of bit of pork. Excuse me. And some good vegetables. Who invented the drink Guinness? An Englishman. Rubbish. It was an Irish. It was an Englishman. Arthur Guinness. Irish Christian. Arthur Guinness. Arthur Guinness. Arthur Guinness. You're all off your head. Arthur Guinness. That invented Guinness. It. He was from the English establishment. Guinness, the it's the only the way Guinness. they could control why, the Irish. Why, why, was to give them a pint of Guinness. To keep us quiet. To keep us quiet. Because in Ireland there's a terrible problem with alcoholism. Oh, and people oh, would die because of bad hooch. Okay? Now I don't encourage people to drink alcohol. But Guinness, the founder of this factory. Take it easy, take it easy, Mr. Rayfriel. Without much Take it easy. When was the last time you had a fight again? When was the last time you had a fight again? I saw you at Christian Abraham. A Christian Abraham. I don't know Abraham was a very, very silly man. Abraham was a silly man. I'm not half as silly as you. No, no, I'm right. He doesn't know that you're right. You don't know you're right. You're not half as silly as you. You're a hundred percent more than me. Yeah, but I've got a set of teeth. <laughs> At least I'm not a show of no brains. You have no brains. You have no brains. Go in and get yourself a set of teeth. Get Jesus. Get Jesus to give you a set of teeth. Get Jesus to give you a set of teeth. You were run out of Ireland because you couldn't handle it. You were run out of Ireland. You were run out of Ireland. You were in the, the Catholic Church running. Yeah, you were. Well, I admit it. Why, they couldn't handle me. Look at you running again. No, it's not. He's getting, he's getting higher. Oh, he's getting higher. Yeah. The low. And you're getting low. Moses. That is injustice. Moses, right? You might convert me. You'd never know. I'm not going to try. I don't convert people. God be the man change the law. I just said, where you're going. You change the law. And when you're going there, you're not going to like it. Sir, sir, sir. He's told that he's going to choose what he was skewed to get to heaven. Six inches and thirty laws. And you're not even looking for it. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? You're right there. You go to hell, you're not going to like it. You go there, but you won't get out really fast. You're there forever and ever. Could you be stupid? Ah, yeah, we're getting to the bottom line of it now. We're getting to the bottom of it now, aren't we? We're getting to the bottom of it. We're getting to the bottom of it. I might have no teeth right there. Yeah, hey! 
Hey, you have no teeth and you have no brain. Where I'm going. I know where you're going. You're pitching you. You're not going there. I know where you're going. You're not going there. I want thanks for the God because I want to No, you know who God is. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. What's his name? What's his name? There he is. That's not God. Love it up. Irish all over. Love it up. Love it up. Love it up. How stupid can an Irish get? That's God, boy. And that's his wife on the front, the Queen. She's the best woman you ever met. Give me all that money for not to get Hey! They only give it to the Irish because they robbed them. You know what I mean? They're only giving them back with their robbed for 700 years. A fellow said to me last week, I'm telling you, whether you're clear or not. He's not telling me. I'm not listening. He said, why don't you go back to Ireland? Let me answer. I said, why should I? I said, you were there for 700 years. I said, I'd only be here for 60 or 70 if I'm looking. But he said, same as you. You come out of an old cottage down in the west of Ireland, you had not. Look at you now, you still have not. You got bit in the football, you thought you were fucking unbeatable. You thought you were unbeatable. I read the Bible. You can do it reading it. Oh, hey, I can't read. Thanks That's for the God. Right. Thanks for the God. You can't read. But it'll still get you into hell. I can't read, but I can still count. Go to hell. I can count but one to ten. And I know that that thing in my pocket is a ten pound note. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you much for a tenner today. Oh, yeah, ha, that's what you take. Because the last time you spent a tenner. I to tell you what you know. I get a lot for that. If you know anything about me, you know I don't care about money. Well, you do. You do. No gentlemen. I know you have. Now the truth is coming out. You're a fucking miser, that's why. A miser. We took 350 people out of the street that were bug at it. You're you never get one penny. You don't do that if you're a miser. You're a miser. You have loads of money. What are you doing with it? Hey, guys. Give us a couple Guys, of bob, will you? Can you have your meeting somewhere else? I'm trying to talk to Paddy here. I'm talking to Paddy with a real one. The real Paddy's, the real Paddy's were Christians, and they went across the whole world long before England went to Ireland. Here! St. Patrick, St. Patrick was a Christian. I want to hear what he just said about it. I don't know what he said. I'm not even listening to you. Tell him what you said. Hey, will you get your talk conversation? He's nothing. Get it into your head. He's nothing. He's a, he's a fucking a, 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 a deluded, a delusion, that fella. So don't ride a bike. Well, I'm not riding it at the moment. No, you're not riding it at the I'm afraid to wait it because I've just spoke out. Yeah, I can see what it is. I'll wait like, like a chance, Mike. Where did you nick it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where did I see? I actually bought that bike. For 10 pounds, you won't buy much. I bought that for a fiver. One more. And I never asked the fella that I bought it off of where he robbed it. As long as I didn't steal it, look at this fella. What are you going to do with all that? What are you going to do with it? It's a camera. Camera? Yeah. Jesus Christ, me tie all day. Do I look alright then? Yes. I hold my stomach in if I don't know that. When was the last time you had a pint again? And then Jesus came and drinking. I am Vincent and I'm a drunk. Not because, not because I'm a Christian. It's because you're like it. Because you're an alcoholic. You should make it as a cross. An alcoholic. Anybody that drinks on a Sunday morning and early. Look at the Catholic Church. Bring you nine at eight o'clock in the morning. And then at ten o'clock and then at twelve o'clock. You never believe. You know why? They have a critic. Leave it all for yourself. How he is God or why he is God. God doesn't look to human eyes. He is what he is. Is that you believe? Or you don't? He doesn't care. God doesn't need you. You need him. He's going to judge you. You're not going to be human eyes. You're not hoping that everything. That makes sense. I'm simply God. 
Simple as that, go meet her. Don't yeah. freak, don't listen to me. Believe everything they're saying. Believe it. Don't believe the scriptures. You know why I'm, you, do you know why I'm happy with me? Oh, you, you don't believe. Happy, no, 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 sir. You know why I'm happy with me? You know why I'm happy with me? You're an idiot. You know why? I don't want to talk to him. He knows God. believe. You don't ever use that name. You don't ever use that name. You use St. Mary. The Catholics pray for Mary. I think they're getting the prayers answered. I know they don't understand one thing. Mary is dead. I don't have the hair. I don't have the hair. When you're dead, you're dead. You have more hair in your chinny chin chin than you have in your heady head head. That's why you wear that hat. Get a set of teeth before you do that. Get yourself a set of teeth. That's Jesus giving you a set of teeth. Jesus will get me into heaven without a set of teeth. He won't let you in St. Peter. You're not going there. How do you know? You're not going there. You didn't find out how to get there. I, I don't want to know how to get there. I'm going there. I'm, 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 listen, I'm bad enough to find you. It's bad enough to hell. It's where you belong. I'm trying to tell you, I find it difficult to get around London, never mind getting into fucking heaven. <laughs> In all honesty, I find it difficult to get around London. Ah, Lord, the devil himself in disguise. <laughs> Remember what your brother Moses done? He denied Jesus three times. Like you denied him three times. Three times. You never read your Bible. You're so used to the Vino. You haven't got even a Bible. I never read. In all fairness, I never even read the Vino. Yeah, you didn't. You read the Vino. So what is the Vino? What is it? It's a comic. Oh, a comic. You still get into Biden and any We can't undo it. We can't undo it. That's why I've still got a tenor in me pocket. I never bought any Vino. I want to be like you. I don't know any of them comics. Ah, you do now. Come on. I was in an orphanage and we were looking to get a bowl of soup off of the fuckers. Never mind the fucking comic. <laughs> and you know the orphanage I was in. You got a sex education and you got no fucking Reno. There you go. There you go. You know what I'm on about then. You never seen the fucking Vino there either. You seen plenty of red I never met him in my life. Oh, it's only because I'm Irish he's coming at me. That's not because he's Irish. He's it coming is at because me. I'm Irish. Come on. And you're the ugliest looking fucking Irish. I don't and care that's how ugly I am. You don't need to be ugly if you're going to heaven. Or hell. You, have to be you can go there whatever way you like. But if you want to go to heaven, there's only one way to go. And you've been insulting them all day. You've got to know Jesus if you want to go to heaven. And he doesn't know Jesus. Who he knows Mary and who Mary's dead. Hey, how do you think? You don't know who I know. Peter and he's dead. I know a couple of Marys. In the brothel down in Errol's Court. And you'd have been able to read the Bible. Nice girls. And they would have read the Bible them. to them. And you could learn at the same time. I'm because they to, don't teach you the Bible in Ireland. I'm trying to tell you. It's your rubbish. I just told you. I never had, I never went, never got any education oh, in Ireland. I got it when I came here in the brothel down in Errol's Court. There was Mary Angela. <laughs> and what was the other one's name? She was a bit of an Indian girl. Mary Magdalene. That was her. <laughs> that was her. I'm glad. I, I, oh, here we go. Look, don't insult Mary Magdalene. She was the highest prostitute. She was the biggest prostitute that ever lived. You got a dirty mouth. And Jesus Christ had sex with her. You got a dirty mouth, man. I don't know what's dirty about sex. No, your mind you is dirty. Your heart is dirty. You don't seem to have a I'm wife. only telling him what I. No, you're talking about yourself. He said Mary Magdalene was a holy woman, holier than you. She was a whore. No, she what? She was a whore. No, you you know, your mind is so twisted. It must to represent words that are clear to a child. She was a whore. Listen to one. Because he's telling you the truth. He's telling you the truth. You're so used to listening heart. to priests and liars. You don't know what to do. I, I never heard it from a priest. Oh, yes, you did. I heard it from a monk. 
He was a priest. He met a couple of Mary Magdalene's in his time and all. They were by the Pope. I was confused were about my sexuality. And the Pope was up the wall. And he told me to go and find the Lady of the Night, and she'd explain all the facts of life to me. What was I supposed to do when nobody had told me, in all fairness? Ask God! I was a simple little Irish. Read the Bible and you would have known. Exactly. Well, it says in the Bible that Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. Ah, you're a liar! Ah, you shut up, you! The devil himself, that's not lie. You're a liar! That's not lie. Okay. Hold on and I go Mary first. Magdalene was the phone? woman that came to the Lord Jesus, was healed. What's this? Okay. And this is what happened. Technology. She was one of the first people to see Jesus Technology. died from the dead. Technology. Okay? That's the privilege. Can you tell me if Mary Magdalene was a prostitute? Yes or no? <laughs> She is a figure shaller than mystery, portrayed for more than 2,000 years as a prostitute! <laughs> I rest my case! Ah, she's the one, I don't know what she fucking done, I'm just telling you what it says! Object of variation! And even as Christ's wife! got a filthy mouth! Christ's wife! There it is, out of the Bible itself! Have a good read of that tonight, sir! <laughs> But the most enduring detail all was her sin. Yet there is no reference to Mary Magdalene being a prostitute. Well, you're a liar, aren't you? Oh, you see that? Big liar. I can only technology doesn't you lie, man. You've done a big lie in front of a huge crowd. I just thought all them people are educated people. Out. They can do the same thing as me, they can Google it. You don't have to listen to ye telling us lies. Well, don't tell lies then. Tell the truth and we share can, the devil. We can Google it. You are the devil. Look at that thing in front of you. So black people. <laughs> Look at that thing in front of you. Oh, hold that. So black people are devils. The devil. I don't know what the really? Devil. So black people are devils. No, the thing in front of you. I never said. I never said you. Yeah. Yes. These people know what I'm saying. But what about you? You're, You're the biggest demon follower speaker's corner. Ah! You follow Satan. Ah! Ah! Is Jesus Christ your king? No. You Who's don't recognize me, boys, since I got me new teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you one thing, you want to get your colleague a set of teeth like that. <laughs> you might get a Mary Magdalene from something. No, you need a new heart. I, I listen, listen. I have a good heart, thank God. No, your heart is evil. I have a good heart. I say a prayer that you die in agony, you fucker. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. I do forgive you. Come on, my friend. Come in with that world before World War Three. Is that right? And he died. Ah, you boy. And he died. Hallelujah. Another oh, fucking millionaire! Another oh, millionaire! Never oh, worked a day in his fucking life! Oh, millionaire! All of them are millionaires! You know why they're millionaires? Because they spend fuck all! Take the money and thank you! Hallelujah! Get in there, my strong boy! And I can handle him, at least he fucking says hallelujah! Three off licenses above an edge of a road! Three of <laughs> you are lying. He's that again. You call him a liar now. The Bible is as corrupted. Yes, it. Yes, it. Yes, it. Get in there, my son. Go on. Give it to him. And God meets me in disguise every day. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say to me, we have yes. played for you. You are the chosen one. Go ahead. There he is, boy. I tell ya. The way the fucking, the way the Taliban, there's your mother dying. You told me I will live in heaven and the people who are with me will live in heaven. Oh! Hallelujah! I negotiated Good Friday agreement in Northern Ireland. And you fucked it up! <laughs> like every fucking thing else that was negotiated over there. I gave fucked it up! Even Jesus fucking Christ fucked it up. Like everything fucking up. And I gave amnesty to soldiers. And I gave amnesty to politicians. And I gave amnesty to terrorists. Because that was the only way to bring peace. Now I am 
What shop can you buy? Argos. 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 What, what do you call it's, it? It's called DJI Osmo. Uh, DJI, DJI Osmo, Osmo pocket camera. Wow, I like it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very good. Steve, I tell you, buy the right fuckers up here, wouldn't it? Oh, you've been great at the time. All right, guys, have a good yeah. weekend. Okay, I don't know nothing. And it's probably that You should know that. For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. In righteousness. All oh. scriptures. Oh. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. You shouldn't have to read that to know it that well. That should just come out of your head. And it's proper them a doctrine! If they got you behaving like that in King's Ten Boys, they'd look after you. They'd send you into the fucking lunatic assignment. Yeah. I'm telling you, I can cast out devils! Yo ho! I can cast out devils! In the name of Jesus Christ. You look like Sammy Davis. Oh, no, no, no. It's the same old man. You have the same woman. And whatsoever you do in words or deeds, do all in the name of Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father and the Lord. When was the last time you had a bottle of Guinness from Nigeria? That's the good stuff. I don't drink alcohol. Ah, you do, you used to. Be on it. Yeah, but before you got here. I got the spirit filled with the spirit of the living God. Guinness is not a spirit. And you need the Holy Ghost. Guinness is not a spirit. I have them in me. That's your drink. That's your drink. I have a drink. You know I don't drink. I drink. You know I don't drink. Not all Jamaicans drink and not all Irish drink. That's a myth. That's nice. That's a myth. If you don't drink alcohol. You see that Bible? You will be held. Every fucker in it is drinking. Everybody, Everybody in it is drinking. Every story in it is drink related. Oh, I drink from the living world. Oh, Jesus. You'll never get a lid in your head. In all fairness, all the major, anything good in that book is drink related. Yeah, there is a lot of things in it. Drink. And depravity. And you prostitutes. And the book a lot is in it. If you want to ruin your life, read that. In all fairness, you know what I mean? When you begin to read this, you just get back to your life. I'm getting back to me fucking life. I'm working and everything. I'm paying taxes and everything. When the English were in my country, they never paid fuck all. You could they took everything. You could be walking <laughs> and dead. I'm sure I'm alright. I'm not doing too In other words, you could be a living cow. You want to but smoke? You're walking. You want a bit of tobacco? No. Do you smoke? No. My friend. You have sex. My friend, do you have you ask ask the Hello, hello. Do you I have devil in you? Devil, do you have devil in you? What? A devil, devil in you. I cast him out. How you cast devil out? In the name of Jesus Christ, but I cast you out. If I say you look Just like one, you believe me? If I say you look like a devil. He doesn't. He looks more like Jesus than the fucking Irish man in all fairness. Look, he's got a proper head of hair. You have your you have your mouth to say what you like, you know. You can say all what you like. But I don't have to accept nothing that you say. You can sell for all of he, he doesn't deny he was a sinner. What does a devil oh, look like? I stand by grace. You, you're not Something to, that I you turn your life around. For myself, Why don't you to go to the pub, Paddy? There's a lot of fucking Pakistani <laughs> looks. <laughs> Holland, Pakistani fucking pat. I'm proud you to be a Paddy. You want to go to the fucking pub? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, come into your life today. Paddy, were you born? Were you born in the pub? Receive. Just Jesus for your Christ information, young man. My name is Joe. J O E. <laughs> so don't be calling me Paddy, because you could get a swift kick in the ball. <laughs> Very quickly. There's no need for that. I don't call you any bad names. Don't no, call that's me not a bad name. Was a Paddy? It's a derogatory name man, to describe an Irish person. Why is a paddy then? Tell me. Because of the paddy wagons. 
That's what they dragged us into. That's where it comes from. I just thought because it gave you, you. No, but now you've been educated. You're a paddy. Quiet, you might be educated. Paddy is a dog as we would like yourself. Like yourself. Like yourself. Like yourself. That's the best passport in the world, gentlemen. You'd love to have one of them. Powerfulness. Sorry, which passport? Which passport? Best passport is a Pakistani passport. Pakistani passport. Oh, here we go. Yes. Why hasn't the Taliban are... got any of them then, for fuck's sake? They have to fucking kill We've defeated most, nation, most powerful nations, most recent, as you know. Ah, that. Yeah, you're fucking. Yeah. You're talking shite. I like that one, Paddy, thank you. I just told you, my name is Joe. Try and appreciate that. What's your first name? Huh? What's your first name? Bobby. All right, Bobby. Don't even want to fall out, Bobby. Over. No, don't fall out at all. Be educated. Because you'll come across an Irishman and call him that, and he'll level you to the ground. I, I just mean, I'm common. trying to protect you. I mean, calling a Pakistani a Pak is common. And uh, calling no, a, no, no, an no, Irishman no. with your eyes and a Pak is common. From, you're not from India. You're from Pakistan, the same as I'm from Ireland. If you want to call me out and call me Ireland. Don't be using the geography language, you know what you I'm trying to reform myself, I'm trying to control my language, and it's hard to try and control you yourself when you're dealing him. with a prick like you! He, my friend, he needs reforming, your friend there needs reforming. That man is reformed, leave that man alone, he's the only one of them up here to talk to any sense. He doesn't have any platform, all he's got is what he's standing up in. And he's a reformed Jesus character. Christ. That man had a rake of children. And he's sick of the lot of them, so he turned to religion to get a bit of peace. I can understand that. You probably have ten wives and don't know where you're going to get the next one. Well, I'm very proud of that. Well, not in this country. That's, that's illegal, my friend. You want culture. to be careful what you're saying. People you've got are taking more women than men in this world. Ah, well, no, you're not really exactly. you're not able for them. I have one woman, and I all my time looking after them. One woman is enough for me. Then you have to go. All maybe, right, Jimmy. Maybe you don't have the energy. Go on, give, give, give us a speech there. Give us a little bit of a speech. Maybe you don't have the energy. Give us a bit of a speech. Give us a bit of a speech there, Jimmy. He was living in the park in Shepherd's Bush one time, that man. Look at the way, look at the way he's come a long way. He's come a long way, in all fairness. And it had nothing to do with the Bible. See you next week. All right, Jimmy. God bless you, God bless you. And that fella has had a rough time. That's the look of that fella. That is why the scripture says, as many as receive Jesus Christ. I'll have the price of me dinner on you. <laughs> get back! Get back! Get back! <laughs> <laughs> You fucked it up. No bullshit. You fucked it up. You and Bush and a lot of them. And Maggie Thatcher and another one. And the Queen of England. We all fucked it up. If there is United Ireland, the Irish will starve. What? They will starve. What are you on about? We're feeding half the world. We thank you here in this country. Pledge Britain Pledge from India! Yeah, India! For 200 years! India, if you're no, not Indians are here! here. In India. In India. Not in Britain! In India! It's payback time! Go down there and run it's Buckingham pay Palace! Payback time! Half of India is in Buckingham Palace! Go down and have a look! That's not true! It is true! All the gold is there! In the Bank of England is all from India! That's why Indians are here! Robbing Britain! Oh! It's it is the payback time! Oh! You go around there stealing and the people will come to your country and rob you economically. Get your facts right. That's true. The Irish taught the Indians how to get rid of the British. And now the Irish told them how to con. Ah. Uh, how to con. You're, you're not conning anybody, are you? I don't get any benefit. You I do. You're, spend, you're a liar. I bullshit. You do. You're on the old age pension. I saw one, but you're on benefit. You're on five. He <laughs> knows. Not to one benefit. No, I don't get any benefit. benefit. He's got just as many as you. The Pakistanis taxi drivers, they forced me out five years ago. And since then, I have not bought one pound from social security. That's because you're a fucking millionaire. Exactly. I have. I got no ah, money. No, 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 no money. You're rotten with fucking money. Look at all the gold. Look at the gold watch. Look at the gold ring. Hey, 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 hey